Colin King. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Friday, 2:30 p.m. on the 19th of August, a 6.6 .6 earthquake struck the top of the south, uh, effectively under Lake Grasmere. This is on the top of a 6.5 three weeks earlier, which has totally turned the rural community of Seddon and Ward upside down. I had to make a dash to Seddon to support those that were distressed and traumatised. Uh, the emergency response out of Blenheim set up a welfare centre at the primary school. The Red Cross team out of Christchurch set up a very well equipped support truck and they set to work to support those that were being affected. Minister for Civil Defence Nikki Kaye, along with Jerry Brownlee, the uh, Minister responsible for earthquake recovery in Christchurch, began to make their way down to <coughs> Melbourne to show their support and their solidarity to the people that were so gravely affected. It was my wife and myself, my own a privilege to be able to spend a night with those affected uh, at the welfare centre to give support and comfort. It's worth bearing in mind that the aftershocks were raining in at a tremendous rate. Uh, they were measuring uh, forces between five and six uh, and were adding to the already uh, fearful situation. Over the night, we were well supported by the Red Cross. Uh, they did a wonderful job and people took great comfort out of that. However, when we woke up in the morning, Mr Speaker, the situation was considerably worse. Heavy rain had set in. Uh, and that was adding to the difficulty of the situation. The next morning was even more depressing uh, than the night before, considering the amount of shock that came with the beginning of the earthquake effects. Uh, large teams, however, of the Civil Defence volunteers uh, reported in under the control of the Marlborough District Council, uh, under their response manager, Dean Hereford, uh, and that was quite heartening to see those people moving around. Ministers Kay and Brownlee were also very positive and had a very uplifting effect for the spirits of those that were present. It had been announced that there would be a public meeting uh, at the school assembly hall uh, and the community turned up to hear uh, and be reassured. We've been well recorded, the uh, phot photographs in the Dominion and throughout the Marlborough Express, the damage that has occurred between Ward and Seddon. Uh, the enduring memory will be of those photographs that were shown in the Dominion uh, yesterday with regards to the railway line between that area, just illustrating the force and magnitude of that earthquake. I would like to acknowledge the uh, contribution that the ministers have made to assuring the community that all will be done within the government's power to put things right. Uh, that is very, very important, but in saying that, uh, we recognise the limitation uh, that that putting right will apply to. You can certainly put the buildings uh, and the infrastructure together and make that right, but the human toll of anxiety, fear, distress and resulting depression uh, will need ongoing monitoring and support. So I would like to take the opportunity, Mr Speaker, to express the community's heartfelt thanks for the, those who came along to support them during their hour of need. Uh, the police, who got out very, very quickly, checked all the rural roads, uh, all the bridges. A number of those bridges, Mr Speaker, had popped and were anything between 150 and 200 mils uh, above the road level uh, and needed to be uh, corrected so that if there was going to be any movement, that it could be done safely. Uh, the road between Ward and Seddon was closed. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to the police for letting me through at the, at the Ward end. Uh, it was quite an eye-opener to see the cracks and the undulations in the road uh, with the consequences of those shakes, uh, and we've had many, many more since then. So thank you to the police, thank you to the Red Cross team coming up from Christchurch with that well-equipped truck, uh, also the Marlborough Red Cross. The civil defence volunteers that come along with the plywood and the tarpaulins, the fire brigades at Seddon and Ward, the building supplies and uh, for the tarpaulins, the tradesmen, the plumbers, the 
carpenters and the electricians and of course the engineers. So it's good to report, Mr Speaker, that the EQC is on the ground at the moment working along with the tradespeople uh, and we just want to put a message out and put it on record that all New Zealand supports uh, the efforts in Marlborough and, and Seddon. Thank you. Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Speaker. There are two things 